And welcome back, All Sports West New York. And he's back, ladies and gentlemen, my good friend, Art Wander, Buffalo Broadcasting Hall of Fame member, radio talk show host supreme. Everything. Bob, you're very fortunate that I, I happen to make it today Why is because that? of my experience. Remember when I was here a, a month or so ago, I mentioned this uh, from Amherst Center, Jennifer, and I even sung her name, Jennifer, like that, etc. Yes. So the next day, I go into the center where I uh, have lunch with my Yankee buddies, you know, Ray, Al, and Nate, and all of a sudden, one of the co-workers of Jennifer, Joanne Jojo, comes at me like a bull out of China shop. She just comes uh, r rushing after me. I thought she was going to scratch my eyes out. I almost moistened my old leotards when she said, I want you to mention my name. Now, oh, wow, you know. And all those, all those people over there almost had attacks. So I got to mention Jojo. Do you get free coffee or sandwiches for this? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somehow, somehow I knew. <laughs> Art, now yes. that we've gotten that out of the yes. way. Yes. Any other plugs before we go? No, okay. that's it. That's it. Buffalo Bills. Right. Where are the Buffalo Bills going to build a new football stadium, and are they going to stay in Buffalo, Art? I think they're going to stay in Buffalo because the one thing, as I mentioned uh, on a couple of other programs here, uh, is the fact that Schumer and Gillibrand will be ready, and so will Higgins uh, with antitrust exemptions. Uh, being taken off the off the ball, and uh, the NFL wants no part right. of government interference because they will lose. They will lose, just like they lost in 1986 when the USFL uh, sued the National Football League, and the USFL won, and the judge awarded them three dollars. Three dollars? One dollar and then triple damages. Oh, okay. It's unbelievable. So they're going to stay. They're going to stay. Right. Where do you think they could build a stadium? Uh, I think uh, all, the, all the things are pointing to downtown, to the waterfront area. Uh, you know, this will, one, create jobs, but also enhance a railway line going right, right to the stadium, which will make it convenient for a lot of fans. Now, we're looking at some of the artist's rendering of uh, what could be, you know, and there's a couple groups out there, uh, and although uh, Congressman Higgins is not fond of putting in the Outer Harbor, so he could be a huge obstacle. <laughs> but let me ask you this, because these are certainly handsome artist renderings. They right. look terrific. They right. seem to, they're going to knock, they're going to take care of any issues with transportation whatsoever. Do you think, through all this, they may give you a parking space? Me? Never. <laughs> Never. Not from the bills. They control that. Scott Birdstall is still with them? Yes, he's still there. Around. Oh, there you go. <laughs> you, you asked for years for a for parking pass. For years for a parking pass because I was a big star in the media. My ratings were good. Bill Polian told me to get out of town. That showed that he listened to me and everything, but I still couldn't get the parking pass. But he did give you a honorary parking pass when I retired dinner, yeah. at my retirement uh, party. Uh, Donahoe came over uh, from the Bills, and so did Scott. Scott's a nice guy, really. It's going to be interesting to see as to who buys the club and what they're going to do, who are going to get the favors from the new ownership. Speaking of who could buy the club, Tom Galasano's name has been brought up, former right. owner of the Buffalo Sabres. Right. You see him as a legitimate contender. I see him as a legitimate contender if he cracks the $2 billion worth mark, because that's what it's going uh, to take. It's going to cost him a $1 billion uh, for the team. I, in order, I would love to see a Pekula Pegula Bob Ridge Association. You're talking about $6 billion, you know what I mean, between the two of them. So I would like to see that, uh, that group together, Pegula and Bob Ridge, and include Jim Kelly in, in that mix. Barring that, you know, wh what the Jacobs family is going to do, whether they will become involved. Not so much Jerry, because he's got the Boston Bruins and he isn't going to sell the Bruins, but maybe his son can come into the picture. And the, the last one would be Galasano. Now, Galasano didn't make too many friends in the way he handled the Sabres. I may not blame Galasano as much as I would Larry Quinn. Hmm. Hey, we're going to take a break. Are you, oh, so quickly? Yes, because well, we have another segment with you. Oh, well, that's yeah. wonderful. So back, more with Art Wander. We'll be talking hockey right after this.